Hello, this is Robert Malikian, continuing the installation of Oracle Rack 10G on CentOS Linux using VMware. In last session, we created our um, disks from VMware. Now, what we need to do is continue the process and actually FDisk these files and prepare them for our and ASM install. So let's um, just double check that um, these are the files we have created. So we need to do an F this slash dev stb. It's going to be a new partition. Going to be a primary starting from one all the way through. We do a print on the first one to see that our 10 gig is in there used and W to write it and exit. We'll do the same for the other five files as well. And this gonna do it just speed up the process a little bit we are nearly in stage that um, we would be able to start actually do some Oracle installation after we need to clone the, our machine put our second node once that is up and running, then we are sort of copying the Oracle and disks across and start installing rack. But let's concentrate on this bit and this is going to be our last row device. Okay, let's this minus dev. Let's do look at it in a different so now you see for every partition we have we have got a um, corresponding device um, once we have done that now we need to actually edit uh, raw devices and get uh, these entries there for particular row devices. Sysconfig. We don't have anything in there. Just copy and paste. Start the the services. It's everything done very nicely. Now we need to create these symbolic links and give them the OCR and voting this and ASM. And just copy and paste them again. Once we have that, we need to 
change your ownership and give it a um, different level of um, access. Once we have this now, uh, we could stop this. Um, so, and copy it. Init zero is almost the same as the hold. Um, so this is going to shut the machine down. Once it's stopped, um, we have two options, like in the Windows, so literally you could copy and paste, um, or I could use my um, signal to move it across just like a usual Linux copy or CP minus R rack one to rack two um, either way I'm sure all of you are quite familiar with how to how to get this uh, directory copied since we've got 45 seconds we'll go with that once it's copied, we need to make a slight changes inside the VMware and go from there. In a real environment, um, you would be able to do similar sorts of things by copying the machines across. Um, I'm sure you're quite familiar with your um, working environment and you know how to go about doing this or sysadmins will be able to help you or maybe they will volunteer to do it for you if you're going to do it yourself and there are plenty of good tutorials on how to follow to actually clone a server across or you could just go through the whole process again uh, let's just rename this Back to we need to go in there and change where it says display name to be rack two. That's the only change we need to do for this. If you go in here, you said add a virtual machine. Amazing. So quickly. So you need to choose, I copied it, um, in a VMware. And we have um, our second server is up and running. While the second server is coming, I will go and start up this, the first server as well. Um, so then we can go. Um, from one to other and actually see it um, what's happening with it. Um, I'm approaching my 10 minute limit. I'm going to stop this and once the machines are up I will start the next session and we'll do the changes required in there. This is Robert Malikian installing Oracle Rack 10G release 2 on using VMware on CentOS OS 4. I will see you other side. Bye.